Today we're going to make some more pictographs in Excel, but instead of using the clip art gallery, we're going to use our own pictures. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Internet Explorer, and the address where you're going to download this from is www.emsisd.com slash Lernapalooza. And in Learn Palooza, I want you to click on Math Tech Activities. Here are the other videos. And at the bottom, you're going to see Downloads. We're going to click on this Valentine Heart download. So go ahead and click on it. Click on Save. And um, we'll just save it on the desktop. So as soon as it saves, since it's a zipped file, we're going to, want to unzip it. So all you need to do is right click on it and go to Extract All, hit the Next button, and hit the Next button, and I don't need to show the extracted files, they're right here. Here's all of our hearts that we're going to use for our pictogram. You can also see I have the same thing for M&Ms. If you don't want to use the Valentine hearts, I have the different colored M&M pieces. So we can close out Internet Explorer, and we're going to open up Microsoft Excel. And so now we need to come up with our graph. So we're going to type in blue, hit enter, and then type in green and hit enter. If you type the word and if you hit enter, it'll make your cells go down. If you hit the tab button, it makes them go over. So it's just a quick way to um, navigate around Excel. Pink, purple, white, and yellow. And so now for the blue ones, how about six blue candies and five green ones, two orange, four pink, seven purple, three white, and eight yellow candies. So as soon as we have our two columns of data, we're going to select all of them, click on the Insert tab, and if you want your bar graphs to go vertically, you click on Column. If you want them to go horizontally, you click on Bar. So we'll just click on Column, and then we're just going to make a 2D column. And there's our graph. It's kind of boring right now. So to help with this, if you click on one of your bars, you'll notice that it selects every one of the bars. And you know it selects those because you see these little circles on the corners. I call those handlebars. So if you click on it one more time, it makes sure that only the blue bar is selected. So double click on that blue bar. Click on Fill. We're going to do Picture or Texture Fill like we did earlier. And then instead of clicking Clip Art to look up these things, we're going to click on File. Browse to our desktop and we're going to click on this blue one. <clears throat> Remember, if stretch is selected, it's going to look like that. Um, we want one little candy heart to be one of these. And so then here we close. Now that looks a little bit squished to me. So if you notice, you can make your whole bar graph just a little bit wider to kind of make those look normal. So we're going to do the same thing with the green. So double click on it once to, to select it. And as soon as that's the only one that's selected, double click on it. Click on Fill. Click on Picture or Texture Fill. We're going to pick a file, but this time it's going to be a green one, and we'll click this one. And again, make sure that you only want one of them. You can change this if you want to. Now do the same thing for orange. Click on Fill. Picture or Texture Fill, click on File, click on the orange one. Do the same for pink, click on Fill. Click on Purple. Click on white. Okay. 
and click on yellow. And there we have your graphs, just like you would do with M&Ms or stack these up. Now, the reason that we had to download these, um, let's just pick orange. Oops. See how it selected all of them? I thought it would have all of these, and I did end up typing in um, But the problem was, it didn't have all of the candies that I needed. It has the same kind of heart ones, but I wanted to make sure I got a blue one and a green one. And there you go. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask.